Today, I got an email from Shopify and saw that there's a new customization editor for checkout and accounts now available. For years, you couldn't customize your checkout page and it was also pretty difficult to customize your thank you page. You could add some additional scripts and you could add widgets with some apps, but there wasn't that much you could do on your own. But Shopify released a feature some time ago now called Checkout Extensibility that allows developers to add tons of new features to the checkout page. So you could either build some custom features or install apps that add things like upsells or rewards directly on your checkout page. Unfortunately, that has only been available for Shopify Plus users. So with this email, naturally I got curious to see what they may have released for regular Shopify users. And I wanted to share what I learned with you all. All right, let's take a look. So I'm in my demo store and you can see here, if you go to the settings, the bottom left corner settings, checkout, um, you get this new configurations area. Uh, and then we've got two different configurations. So there's the prompted demo configuration. You've got a copy of the prompted demo configuration. Um, so this is kind of like the themes area. So you come to the themes, you can see we've got Dawn and all these other versions of Dawn. Um, it, it behaves similar to that. Um, and if we go inside and just customize, you get a visual editor that's very similar to the theme editor. And so if we actually go to the theme editor, we can come to the checkouts area. And then on the left side, you've got this customized checkout link. When you click that, it takes you back to the checkout configurations area. So it's just another way to get to this same menu. Now in your editor, we can see that we've got these uh, branding options here. So you can add a logo, you can change the logo position, you can add a background image, right? So you can do a bunch of things here. So let's let's just put some random images in here. So let's say for example, uh, let's use this rose here. That's our logo. Um, we can change a background image. We don't really have one, so I'm just gonna choose one of these shirts. Um, right, so you can kind of brand it however you like. And then we can put a background image here too, if you like. This one's probably gonna look a little funny. So let's use uh, this one here, right? So um, yeah, so you can customize the way your checkout page looks like, uh, but not much else. So if you come to the sections area, you can see here, customizing with app blocks is not available for this page. Uh, so we can't really do much there. We can only update the uh, branding. So we can remove these images. Um, um, and, and also you can kind of change some of these colors here. The other thing we can change is this checkout layout. So right now it's a one page checkout, right? So we've got our contact delivery payment information all on one page. If we change that to a three page checkout. Then now we can see that we've got these three pages that takes you from information shipping to payment. So let's say we uh, have our contact information, we can continue to shipping, we can select our shipping method, and we keep going, and then to our payment methods. So you have the option to choose a one page or three page. Um, personally, I like the one page better because um, it's just a little bit more streamlined. Uh, but in terms of our checkout page, that's all the customization that we have in this editor. Um, not much, to be honest. Um, and so if you need to have that extra functionality to add something to your checkout pages, you may still need to upgrade to Shopify Plus. Now, what else can we do here? We've got these other pages. So thank you page. So we've still got these uh, these. Uh, branding settings that are just going to uh, persist across all these different pages, but we can go to our sections again. So you can see here, we have all these blocks, but you can't actually click them, reorder them, drag them, edit them. Um, we can't really change anything here. But what we can do is we can add an app block. If you click that, um, it should give you a list of app blocks to add. Uh, in our demo store, we don't have any. So what I'll do is I'll bring over uh, a different store that uh, we manage and show you some of the app blocks that are shown there. Okay, so this is a different store. Um, we can, we're on our thank you page. 
we can go to our sections um, and we can add an app block. And now you can see all these different apps that this store has installed. Um, so let's say we want to add a rebuy smart component um, and we want to add a, uh, a referral widget. Then we can add those two in and they're going to show up on our thank you page like this. And then the widget, how it will actually show, we're going to need to actually see the checkout page. But for here, you can kind of see a placeholder of where it will be placed. Um, so we can actually drag this around if we want. Um, and so this just gives us uh, a little bit of extra customization that we didn't have the control over before. We had to rely on the app developers to place this into our checkout page, uh, sorry, our thank you page. Um, but now we can control this ourselves. And so the developers have to create an app block for us to bring into our thank you page. Um, and, and then we can actually decide if we want to show it or not, uh, and we can place it in the order that we want as well. Um, we can even bring it down here. Yeah, so we have more flexibility on controlling the thank you page uh, with the app blocks that are available, uh, but not too much control over adding new sections or new, uh, or new blocks into this page unless you have a developer on hand to help you with that. Okay, so let's move on. We've got the order status page. Similarly, we can add app blocks to the order status page, right? So if we want to say, uh, edit order, then we can have that placed there. Um, we can add a uh, checkout survey, right? And place that wherever we like. So we again have some control over where we're gonna place these app blocks um, and whether we want them to show or not, uh, but that's about it. And then if we move on, we've got the orders page. We can't actually change anything here uh, and the profile page, which we also can't change anything on here. So um, the settings are available across all these pages, uh, but otherwise, if you want to control the profile or the orders page, um, not available right now. In my opinion, we aren't getting any groundbreaking additional features, but it is a little bit easier to work with to customize your thank you page and your order status pages, uh, but that's about it. Coming back out to the checkout settings area, you can see this message here saying that the order status page is using the default URL. So it's a shopify.com URL. Uh, but you can actually change the domain to uh, your own custom domain. So in this case, the prompted.store. Um, so what that means is that when your customers land on your checkout page, you can actually have it branded to your own domain, right? Instead of it's shopify.com, it's now your own domain. So that's just a nice little additional feature that we now have with this checkout change. Okay, so if you come to here, you may actually see a different message. So I'm gonna show our other store for a moment. Okay, so here it is. You can see here that your thank you and order status pages must be replaced, right? So we've, it's because we're using some incompatible apps and additional scripts, which are deprecated, which means that the old checkout method is being discontinued. And so um, they say that you have until the end of 2024, December 31st, 2024, to make that change. So there is some time here but they are forcing you to change, especially if you've got some of these uh, additional scripts that may have already been in your checkout. On the Shopify Help Center, they have uh, an entire page on how to upgrade your store. So this is it right here. They, they kind of guide you through it, step one, step two, step three. Um, I'll just briefly summarize it for you. So if we come back to this page here, we're gonna see here, okay, we've got this incompatible apps. We actually can't use the, um, the this new configuration just yet. And so we have to look at our customizations report. So we've got two customizations. We've got Microsoft Clarity and we've got VWO revenue tracking. And so these additional scripts need to be added to the customer events area. So that's this link right here. So we can go to customer events and we can see that we've got these 
app pixels here. And then um, we're going to need to create a custom pixel. Um, add custom pixel here. We can name it something. And then we're going to need to add our scripts into here. All right. So um, if you have any scripts on your checkout page, like right here, then that's going to be needed to now be added to the customer events, which now have access to the checkout page. The reason why we used to put it here is because whenever we added the scripts elsewhere, it was separate from the checkout page. So then we need to add that additional script there so that it fires along with the checkout page. But now with the customer events, you can place, it, place these scripts into one spot and has access to uh, the entire uh, flow of your store, including checkout. And once you've done that, you should be able to just use the checkout configurations with the uh, thank you page and order status page customizations that you want. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's our quick little overview of this new editor for the checkout and accounts pages. Um, you don't get a ton of new features, but you do get to edit the thank you page and the order status page, including bringing in app blocks and being able to place them in different spots on the page. We have this new customer events area where we can place our pixels and we can actually brand our checkout pages with our own custom domains. If you want more features than that, unfortunately, that's still only available for Shopify Plus users. Anyway, I hope you like this little update. We didn't do any customizations today, but if you're looking for one, we've got tons of tutorials on our YouTube channel and at theprompted.co. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.